Next we're going to talk about is how to multiply rational expressions. Uh, to do this what we're going to do is we're going to tap into our background knowledge again. So we have the fraction 2 fourths times 6 ninths. Uh, to be able to do this when we multiply there are a couple ways to do it. Now you guys of course know uh, your nice little factors and stuff like this so you could easily go ahead and multiply 2 times 6 and get 12, multiply 4 times 9 to get 36 and then simplify it first. But when we're actually dealing with uh, rational expressions, we don't want to try to multiply first and then simplify. We actually want to try to simplify first and then multiply everything together. Because with polynomials, if you try to do, uh, if you try to multiply first and then simplify, you may get a polynomial that's so big you don't even know how to factor it. So keep that in mind. Uh, the rule for this is we can cancel anything in the numerator with anything of the in the denominator. It doesn't matter if we're talking about the same fraction or different fractions. So for instance, looking at this one, 2 will go into itself once, so we'll go into 4 twice. 3 will go into 6 2 times, and we'll go into 9 3 times. And then also we can cancel these two. So 2 will go into itself once, 2 will go into itself once. So any numerator with any denominator, it doesn't matter if it's the same fraction or different fraction, and if there's a common factor, we can simplify them. Once we've finished all of our simplification, we can multiply our numerators together. So 1 times 1 on the top, and then the denominator will be 1 times 3. So multiply your numerators together to get your numerator. Multiply your denominators together to get your denominator. Let's look at a more appropriate example for what we're working on. Here it is, x minus 7 over x minus 1 times x squared minus 1 over 3x minus 21. So again, our job is to go ahead and try to simplify this. But before we can simplify it, what we're going to do is we're going to need to try to factor. So right here, there is no common factor, and it's a linear binomial, so I can't factor this. Linear binomial, no common factor. However, this is quadratic, so I can factor this. I'll factor it to x plus 1, x minus 1. Difference of squares. In our denominator, uh, this is a linear binomial, but it does have a common factor in this one. So we'll factor to 3 times x minus 7. Uh, looking at this, now what we can do is we can simplify. So we're looking for any numerator with any denominator that shares a common factor. So in this numerator, you see x minus 7, x minus 7. Here, x minus 1, x minus 1. Multiply your numerators together. 1 times x plus 1 times 1 is x plus 1 over 1 times 3 times 1 will give us 3. So that's a simplified form. Uh, one thing that you may run into is things like this, where you have x cubed over x. And, uh, you know, say you had, I don't know, you could have something else like, say, x plus 1 over on the top and then x plus 2 on the bottom. Okay, uh, what you should know is, you know, these won't cancel, obviously, but you can cancel those. So just because it's not written kind of as a binomial that you're canceling, you can also cancel these. So you can take 1x from this, and when you take 1x from this, you're left with x squared. So just kind of keep that in mind.